What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome back to our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Going through Pokemon Sword first. And, <clears throat> well, what can I say? It's been quite some time since we actually were in Pokemon Sword, and, uh, well, I gotta say, we did a lot since then. Uh, just a lot of stuff, you know, hack games and all that stuff here. But now it is finally time for us to go into the Isle of Armor, and as you can see, the first thing that has been shown is that you have an armor pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station if you want to visit the Isle of Armor. You'll be able to set out a new adventure where you can catch rare Pokemon and grow your team. And look at that, we got ourselves the armor pass. And let's see, uh, Isle of Armor. And then here we have the other one, which is the Crown Tundra. You have a crown pass. You show it at the Wedgehurst Station, visit the uh, Crown Tundra, a land where many mysterious lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blankling, blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. So there we go, guys. We got ourselves both the Crown Tundra, or yeah, the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor right here for both Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, at first I actually thought that, you know, uh, that. Pokemon Sword and Shield, they, they were like the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor were separate things for both versions, but it looks like that they're the same thing for both versions, which means that, well, I am thinking of doing a separate walkthroughs for both of them. As you probably already know, this whole walkthrough consisted of me playing uh, both Pokemon Sword and Shield, but right now I am kinda of thinking that maybe maybe it's best for me to actually play both the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor in uh, in their separate you know they're both their separate kind of versions and all that stuff that way you guys can get a better picture of both versions right here so what's going to happen right now is that we're actually gonna be going straight to the station right here and well let's see we gotta go talk to this guy Oh, that's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. You can go, you have a crown pass too. You can go to the Crown Tundra. Where did you like to go today? I would like to go to the Isle of Armor. That way we can we can start our adventure right here. So, look at that. Wow, this is, uh, wow, this is brand new right here. Look at that. Oh, wow, and we are flying straight to the Isle of Armor right here. This is pretty awesome. Friggin' awesome, guys. Oh my god. So, a new adventure continues right here. It has been three to four months, guys, since we've actually played Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, no, I have not played anything within Pokemon Sword and Shield since then. This is all brand new, uh, and I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that you guys would enjoy this. Now, here we are in the Isle of Armor, and a lady right here is like, Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researching Pokemon biology here on the island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch on the island to your Pokedex, right? I'll just update Pokedex so you can uh, just do that. And uh, bam, we are getting our Pokedex updated. And now we have the Isle of Armor Pokedex that has been added to the Pokedex. When you've caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your Pokedex. This is, this is pretty nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokedex right here, guys. And, well, it looks like that we've caught three Pokemon from the Isle of Armor so far. We've managed to meet three Pokemon from the Isle of Armor. So, like I was saying, guys, haven't played anything since then. I've just been focused on hack games, the other games that you guys have been seeing on my channel. But since I am taking a week-long break, I have decided that, you know what, each day I'm going to start recording some new material for all the games that I have yet to finish. And this is one of them. So now, let's go right ahead and talk to this individual right here. And he's like, I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but... There's a strange person standing outside the station, and I'm a bit scared to head out. Huh. Uh-oh. He's getting scared, and, uh... Whoa, would you look at that. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. Mmm! Mm. And we all know how much I love the Galar women on here. Aha! Uh -huh, there you are! Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Hmm. Hey, have we met before or something? Or it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm Clara. I've been at the dojo for a while, so they sent me to help you uh, help out the newbie. What dojo? Or I think you've got the wrong person. 
I am thinking the what dojo? Oh, come on. I know you're the new student that's supposed to join the master dojo. Question mark. Huge question mark right now. What's going on? I am mocked by a kid? But I'm a, the colorful, caring, and charismatic Clara. Try to say that five times. Well then, how about you, uh, how about we have a quick battle? So you just know, uh, to see who, who's better. I'll be waiting outside, so come on out when you're ready. Man, I really, really love... Yeah, he'll never know what hit him. <laughs> oh, wow. She's already talking shit already. Okay, so, uh, like I was saying, guys. I haven't done anything in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. And it, it, as you can see, look, my Pokemon are... Yeah. They, they are still kind of messed up from the last battle we had. Which was in the... I guess... It was Hop, yeah. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> wow, it has been a long time, guys. A long, long time. So, let's see. I'm gonna... Let's see, not that one. Um, how about this one? How about... Let's see. Uh, press this button. You can't ride your bicycle now. Uh, still trying to get the controls. E yeah, it has been a while, guys. A long, long time. Uh, let's see. Not that one. Pokemon. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and not swap Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to... Let's see. Good gravy. <laughs> Man. You know it's been a while since you've actually, like, played this game when you don't remember the controllers and all that stuff. And, <laughs> look at that. Okay. Uh, like I said, guys, it's been a while since I've played this game. And, yeah, we... Yeah, we, we, we got a lot of stuff to do. And what made my decision a little bit, uh, well, what made my decision, okay, hold on just a sec, I can't even, like, see, how do I get to my Pokemon again? Uh, Y, X, Y, ah, there we go. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. Okay, so, let's see, I'm trying to figure this out. Give me a sec, guys, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> Alright guys, so, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game, like I said, but it was very obvious. Okay, so the last battle that I've had was against, uh, Hop with the Legendary Battle, and of course I used quite a few Legendary Pokemon, quite, uh, well, one Legendary Pokemon, and I did a lot of stuff within that, that time frame, so what I'm gonna do now is I gotta switch back to, uh, an original Pokemon right here now. Let's see. I know I I know I switched out Zacian for another Pokemon right here. I'm thinking it's not Balea, but let's see. We can use Bex, but that's a fire type. Let's see. We got a Fighting, Grass, Water and Rock, Poison and uh, and and uh, Electric, Bug and Fire. So I'm I'm assuming we're using a Psychic type Pokemon right here. Okay. So let's see. Oh yeah, we're using uh. Uh, we're using, what was it called? Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Where the heck are you, Dumbledore? Now, playing the Isle of Armor, guys, I'm going to be swapping out Pokemon. I'm going to try and, you know, get my Pokemon all leveled up and whatnot. Maybe even bring in a, a new, t like, bring in a new team. Use a team that I used before back in the day. I don't know. But let's go ahead and put that back. As you can see, Godzilla, Godzilla is uh, aching to battle right here. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should use them. Yeah, you know what, Baconator? Baconator's got... Okay, so it looks like to me that I'm going to put Baconator back in there. I'm going to start using some different Pokemon just for this whole adventure right here. Uh, who knows? The newer Pokemon that I can capture right here, we're just going to, you know, it's going to actually help out. Because uh, I've, I've heard a lot, of, a lot of great things about this. So let's see if I got some uh, extra stuff right here. I don't even have full heal. Oh, I got 18 full heals. So let's go with this guy. That guy, and since, you know, Godzilla, Godzilla is at level 40, that would be great because he'll grow extra levels right here. So, let's go right ahead and see what we're all about. We're stepping outside, and as you can see, we are finally here in the Isle of Armor, guys. Look at that, it's beautiful. I've seen you guys before. Holy crud, and there's the dojo. Hey, <laughs> I bet you're the fir this is the first time on the Isle of Armor. I bet you can't wait to start exploring, but first things first, we need to make sure you're ready. Since I've already been to the Master Dojo for a little while now, I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? Wow, I love the way how she just says that, like, all friendly and, oh my god. 
So we've been tra challenged by Pokemon trainer Clara, and here she's going to want to come out with a Venipede. Holy crud, a Venipede? All right, Quackor, time to do your stuff. And this, remember, it's just a test, so take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle as I knock you flat. Wow, she likes to talk a lot of crap. <laughs> All right, here we go. Maximum effort, brave bird attack for the win, and it feels good to be using my Pokemon yet again right here in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And wow, well, look at that. We're taking a nice hit right here, and our Pokemon are going to be growing levels. And let's see, she's going to be coming out with a Slowpoke, so let's go right ahead and use the man, the myth, the legend, Blitzkrieg. It has been a quite some time right here. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Blitzkrieg ready to rock and roll. And she's like, how am I gonna, how am I not the one, or backed into the corner? This should not be a thing. And here she has a new Galarian Slowpoke. And we're going to be going straight for an overdrive attack right here. Look at this. Overdrive for the win. And look at that. Okay. And Godzilla, Godzilla is growing levels right here too. So there we go. We have defeated our first trainer right here in the Isle of Armor. And she's like, oh my, oh my next Pokemon's going to be a short work of, huh? That was my last one. She's a little bit ditzy, although she's very, very hot. Ditzy, but hot. Huh? No, 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 no. There must be some mistake. Not good. Not good at all, man. How'd this kid get so strong? If this kid joins the dojo, nobody's going to pay attention to my strength. Uh, they could have paid attention to the rest of you. I mean, look at you. Come on. I could just tell him to buzz off. No, they asked me to bring a new student. Dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> hey, uh, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like uh, I was going all out. Not at all, but still. But you see, our dojo is one that's got a long-standing reputation. Even the famous champion Leon trained at our place. No offense, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite good enough to make it. So, how about this? Why not enjoy the sights, but just stay away from the Master Dojo over there, okay? Hmm. Here, I'll even give you this, uh, you know, a souvenir. And we get ourselves a style card. What is this? So, this style card right here is a... A card that increases the selection in boutiques and hair salons. Oh, look at that. So we can change the, you know, the regular grungy look of Draven uh, Corvone right here and go with something new. Just show it uh, Just show it when you visit a boutique or a, house, a hair saloon and then they'll buy you stuff. Or you can buy, they'll let you buy stuff that's not available to most people. Anyway, I guess that's that. See you never. <laughs> okay. That was odd. That was very odd, but look at that. I see, with my little eyes, a few Pokemon. Holy crap, is that a Whalmer or a Whale Lord? Oh, damn. Okay, so I'm going to take her advice, and I'm going to explore the whole place right here. As you can see, we've already caught one of these Slowpokes right here. It is a Poison Slash, uh, poison slash Psychic type Pokemon, and well... There's an Abra, and I'm starting to hear some new Pokemon right here. What is this? Oh, snap, it's a Baneri. And, well, let's go ahead and grab some berries while we're at it here. Is that a Chansey? Oh, man, I want to capture that Chansey. But I kind of feel like the, if there's a Chansey, there's going to be a pre-evolved form or something. I think there is. Holy crud. Okay, so, yeah, they are, they are making it hard for me to leave right here. Holy crud. Okay, so... I'm assuming that this right here is just like the, uh, it's just like the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Zone, or what was it called, the, the, the Wild uh, Pokemon Zone or something, and you were enabled to actually capture some new Pokemon right here too, and man, I am excited to see what we can actually find right here, so here we go, we're getting the 200, kind of want to walk out there, and it is, oh, that's a Starmie! Oh my god, it's a Starmie. Uh, okay, so I kind of want to go over there to see what this Whalmer is all about, or Whale Lord. Look at this, man. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I have a feeling that this is going to be a... It's going to be a fun one right here. Alright. A Whale Lord. 
But then, let's go to the shore right here. Okay, what the hell? Kind of feel like I was being chased or something. Alright. You know, it's never too bad to get yourself a little bit of a watch before you go anywhere. And here we found ourselves a dragon scale. And, well, we wanted a fish right there, so... Let's see. Oh, snap! There's something coming towards us! Ah! Run! God damn it! There was something chasing us! Holy crud! Come on, use those legs! Do it for the bitches! <laughs> oh! Ah! Okay. I think that was a Sharpedo! Woo! 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 Oh my god! Woo! It was like Jaws! I could feel it! <laughs> okay. Not that it would actually attack us or anything, but it's just... God dang! Whew, okay, so let's see. Let's go straight for that watt area. Right here. And bam, alright. Ah! Alright, bring it on! Let's go, Sharpedo! Okay, so here we are going up against a Sharpedo. God damn, those Pokemon scared the crap out of me. Alright, so it's a level 60 Sharpedo. Man, this place looks like it's going to be a good place to actually train all your Pokemon here. And yes, right now it's getting the whooping of a lifetime. Do not mess with our good old buddy Optimus right here. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Okay. Uh, I kind of feel like that Whale Lord is going to be like a once in a, a day kind of thing. So I'm not going to attack it just yet. And god dang it! There's two Sharpedos. This is kind of like uh, the desert over in Kalos where they just like attack you for no reason. And wow. They forgot to mention Sharpedo infested waters. Yeah, I am not going to do with this. I'm not going to deal with this right now. F that. Oh man. Okay, so that's that right there. Let's go ahead and grab some items. Alright, right here we bought a bottle of calcium. And let's see, what is this? Oh, a bag of Stardust. So, yeah, we are literally filling up on some items that we definitely need here. Kind of want to check out that little island right there. So, <sighs> all right, here we are, the Fields of Honor. And, well, let's go ahead and start checking out some stuff here, guys. This is going to be a nice episode of, uh, you know, of things that we can actually find. And, you know, me talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield and whatnot. And uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's go ahead and take that out. And grab some watts. And let's move on ahead right here. Now, it's okay to grab some watts here, guys. Just to, cut, just to actually... Oh, wow. A Jigglypuff! Holy crud! Okay. I didn't know you can actually get Jigglypuff right here. Yeah, I'm going to escape you right here because I don't want any of you right now. All right, let's grab this. And is there an item? There is an item right there. Okay. So, I was thinking that since, you know, since both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra have its, uh, you know, its separate stuff, they will be in different series, guys. And since I am playing both versions, or I had played both versions for this walkthrough, I'm going to separate them now as their singular, uh, their singular title right here. That way you guys can get a better, you know, feel of what you can actually find in both versions rather than me just like, you know, taking a while playing one and then the other. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Pokemon Sword, and then from there we're going to be, uh... We're going to be doing both the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor both in Pokemon Sword first. And then from there, I'm going to go straight into Pokemon Shield, do it all over again, and see what we can actually find in both, uh, well, in Pokemon Shield. It's not that I'm giving up on anything, it's just that I kind of want to show up, uh, kind of want to show a little bit more to this walkthrough. Plus, it's another, you know, it's another playlist right here for you guys. That way you guys can check it out. I know that they're... There are a lot of a lot more YouTubers out there that can do this. And I pretty much have my my own way of doing this. So it would be nice to actually do that for you guys. Just don't know when I'm gonna, you know, progress on both. So let's see. The workout C. 
I want to look, I want to see what's in that island, but I kind of feel like a freaking Sharpedo is going after us, and there we are, okay. When you touch clear and clean sand, it helps cleanse your memories of uh, the toil you've been through, okay? If you want to clear away all of her Pokemon's base points and start uh, with a clean slate, I can help. Give me 10 pieces of Armorite Ore, and I'll cast a spell on sand at a Pokemon you choose. Okay, I don't even know what that is. I'm going to hold off on that. And I think there was, yeah, there was an item right here. Look at that. Big old pearl. I want to see what's in that island before we continue on. Hopefully we don't get attacked by any god dang Sharpedos. Oh, there's one. Man, I can hear the jaw song. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we are escaping Jaws. That's right. You didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Suck it, Jaws. And look at that. We are in an island right here where there's some grass. There's an executor. I could capture that guy, uh, but I'd prefer to evolve my Pokemon right here. And, oh, ex execute. Have we captured an execute yet? Pretty sure we have. There we go. That's one. There's two. Let's get it again. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, look at that. An Applin. I think I've already caught one of these guys. And. Yeah, we've already caught one of the Applin right here. They've yet to evolve it. There's two forms of it. And because of that, it took all our berries away. You asshole. Okay, so let's see. Found ourselves a figgy berry. Grab some of these little stuff. And, you know, I feel like there's more. There could be more stuff right here. Look at that. Okay. Oh, we're finding berries. Not bad. Okay. So, yeah, there's going to be... There's going to be two separate playlists for both Sword and Shield guys on this. Um... You know, and it's just to help you guys if you guys have both sword or shield to, uh, to catch the differences because there are some differences between uh, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. From uh, the Isle of Armor, the Isle of Armor, you can actually get different Pokemon species, and uh, yeah, they're, they're they're definitely exclu exclusives on there. Now in the Crown Tundra, you can actually, the only differences that you can find in there are the legendary Pokemon. So, we will be going through both. Don't know, don't know exactly how, how, uh, how quickly I'm going to get it done, but it will be a nice, uh, it will be a nice series for you guys to actually check out and all that stuff. So, enough me talking about what the future plans hold. Um, let's, let's go ahead and check out some other stuff right here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We are in the Fields of Armor. And it looks like to me there is a little spot right there that you can actually grab some wattage. There we go. And, well, let's see. Hopefully we're not pinned to a corner to actually get bitten by a friggin' uh, Sharpedo right here. Have I ever told you guys, for the longest time I actually thought that Carvana and Sharpedo were two separate Pokemon? Never evolving or anything? I, I kind of don't get that. All right, let's see. Let's go right ahead and ride our bikes and move and check out the rest of the stuff. Look, there's so many Pokemon right here that you can capture that, you know, probably off screen I'm going to try and do that. And, well, let's see. There's some more Gallic... What is that? Galerica twig. A twig from a species of, of tree called Galerica that grows in certain areas around the Gala region. It's a material for accessory of for certain Pokemon. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I guess. I don't know. For certain Pokemon. So it might have uh, Pokemon evolve here and there. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and manage this whole thing right here. Look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that Cliff Key. A Jigglypuff. Man, they are they are really bringing the Pokemon right here. That's a Banary. I'm pretty sure we already got some of that Pokemon. Let's go ahead and grab some berries. Can never go wrong with so many berries right here. So that's one. There we go. That's two. And let's go again. Three. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get the heck. Well, it's a good thing that the these Pokemon right here, these wild Pokemon, are, are letting me grab the berries first before they try and get me. And let's see. Oh! Didn't want to do that. Okay. Screw it. I'm in the water already, and there is something there. Now, here we are in the workout sea again in the Isle of Armor, and... Okay, so we've already gotten our wattage back, and let's see. 
I feel a Sharpedo ready to attack me. These a-hole Sharpedos. Ah! I'm back, baby. And... Is that a Rotom? That looks like a Rotom! Okay, hold on. If you weave together Galerica Twigs, you can make a bracelet. If you give me eight Galerica Twigs, I'll weave a Galerica Cuff for you. Let's see, you don't have enough? Okay. So, I guess that's what that's what it's made for, I, I guess. I don't know. And... That's a Rotom. Holy crud, we can actually get a Rotom right here. Huh! Oh my god. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, let's continue on right here, guys. Now, I'm not trying to capture any Pokemon just yet. This is probably going to be an off-screen kind of deal. But this is just exploration of the island right here. And man, there are so many things you can actually find in this whole place. Man. Okay. So here we are in Stepping Stone uh, Sea. And it looks like there's quite a few things you can actually find right here, like wattage and all that stuff. And it looks like to me that Sharpedo is ready to attack me. Yeah, you can't capture me right now. You a-hole Sharpedo. There we go. Oh, no! Okay, so I didn't really want to do that. Okay, so let's see. A dive ball. And what else can you actually find? Okay, so let's see. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to get the wattage, I'm going to battle the Pokemon, and if it's worth seeing, then I will show it to you guys. If not, then, you know, I'll just edit it out. So give me just a sec with this one right here, guys. So 2,000, and it looks like to me it's going to be a Chansey. Uh, screw it. Let's let's go ahead and battle. <laughs> okay, so that was the first time I've ever captured a 5-star Pokemon. And as you can see, you get 5-star prizes right here, guys. You get a boatload of rare candies, an Armorite Ore, which... Well, we got four of those, and uh, we got a bunch of uh, experienced candies and all that stuff, so I guess that's pretty good. Awesome. Great. And, well, look at this. Chansey's data will be added, and as you can see, this is the first time we've ever caught a Chansey. So this is Chansey, the egg Pokemon, 3 foot 7, 76 pounds of pure love. And the egg Chansey carries is not only delicious, but is also packed with nutrition. It's used as a high-class cooking ingredient. Okay, and, well, we're not going to give it a nickname, but we will be sending it to the PC. That way, uh, you know, it can live out its days as one of our Pokemon right there. So this is a first. Holy crud. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh, I guess... Let, let's go ahead and go to, uh, straight to land. Hopefully see if we can actually, like, find some other stuff. Look at that. Tentacool you can find. And, of course, Sharpedo ready to attack as and whatnot. And, yeah, we're going to go fast right here because I really, really, really don't feel like getting attacked by another Sharpedo. And, well, let's see. Grab that. The pearl Sting. Or String. And let's go. And there's a Sharpedo right up into the horizon. And, man. Ah! Trying to attack us. Look at that. Fast and the Furious. What now, Sharpedo? Do -do -do -do. <laughs> and we are going very, very fast right here. Look at that. Okay. Oh, these damn Sharpedos are making us just like antsy and stuff. Holy crap. It's a Gyarados! Challenge Beach! Oh my god. Where the hell are we? So here we are in Challenge Beach, and we are looking at some uh, pretty interesting Pokemon right here. Look at that. Star me and star you, you know, Patrick, you know, the Pokemon that kind of screwed us over Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, whatchamacallit, uh, Leaf Green, the Dene, oh, crud, oh my god, you are, oh my god, there's some interesting Pokemon right here that I'm gonna try and get, like I said, guys, this is just an exploration of the place, we will eventually go into the main game, it's just an introduction, a reintroduction of your good old buddy Draven back in Pokemon Sword and Shield and whatnot. And, you know, I, I'm kind of hoping that off-screen we will be doing a little bit more capturing and whatnot. But I think this is more of an off-game kind of thing. So we shall see what ends up happening. But as you can see, we are looking at another place right here. This is a tower. I think that's the Dark Tower. 
And we are going to be saving that for later uh, later on, but yeah, let's go ahead and try and find some Pokemon, try and find some stuff, you know, items, free items is always great. Let's see, let's grab this, Galerica Twig, and well, let's see, yeah, I'm not going to try and capture you just yet. I know how you work, and well, let's see, if you talk to this person, hey, I came here from a different region, and I've been looking for certain Pokemon, maybe you have an exe executor here? How about trading one for the one from my region? And this person right here will actually give you an Alolan, Alolan Executor. Which maybe I will be trading a little bit later on. But here we have the Forest of Focus. Holy crud, okay. Man, this place is... This place is unique, man. I am, uh... I'm like, I'm really excited to actually start playing this, like, again. And that right there is an actual Pokeball. Thought it was going to be a mushroom. And that is a Ponyard. Do not want to mess with that guy. And, well, as you can see, that is one of the... One of the, uh... Region, or one of the Pokemon that you'll actually find. Exclusive Pokemon. I think in... In, uh, Shield, you'll be able to find its, uh, counterpart. Can't remember what it was called. Uh, Orangutan or something. It looked like an Orangutan. Yeah, right, there we go. And... Let's go with one more... There it is. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, okay. So we got all that stuff right there. And, well, let's see. Stay away from the Ponyard. Again, we're just grabbing items, looking at different Pokemon. Just uh, minding our own business, not trying to get eaten by a Sharpedo or anything like that. And there we go with a Sticky Barb. Man, we are looking at some stuff right here. And look, it's a Pikachu! Pikachu, I already caught you. Holy crud. Man, this place is amazing. I'm telling you that right now, guys. You're definitely going to be finding a lot of Pokemon in here. Kind of makes me wish that I, uh, I learned about this a little earlier. And, well, let's see. Let's see. I think I can go back to the entrance right here because... I think we're getting an idea of what we're going to be uh, encountering later on. And, oh, look, there's a Pokeball right there. Hyper Potions. Man, they, they are hooking it up with the items right here. Let's see. I think there was an area where you can actually capture Scythers as well. And what does this person do? Hello, people call me Diggy Ma. Have you, have you met Diggy Pa? He's my partner. I enjoy digging and the thrill of digging with my lovely shovel. It's my digging friend. I feel like giving you a piece of armorite ore to commemorate our meeting. And, well, here we go. Oh, but no, I'll give you a chance to choose. You could receive a piece of the armorite ore, or you could just uh, use it as payment to, uh, to have me dig and see what I can, if I can find more armorite ore. However, if my lovely shovel breaks while I am digging, you won't get anything. I do need to ask you quickly save your gant your progress, but if you are seeking some thrills, why not uh, try your luck with me? I am not going to do that right now because yeah, I do not have uh, do not have uh, uh, courage right now. But we get another armorite ore, and well, she is gone for the day. Let's see. Wow, there there are a lot of people here. Okay, let's see what this person has to say. Oh my gosh, I saw the most awesome Pokemon ever! I can show you the, it's awesome, uh, this awesome Pokedex entry for just 100 uh, watts if you like. And I got a lot to spare, so let's see what we have. And we have actually saw or seen a Mindfu, or Mainfu, or Mindfu, I don't even know how to say, but it's an awesome Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Wow, this... Man, I am, uh, I am digging this place. Now, where is the other person that I saw here? Huh. She totally disappeared on me. Okay, so let's see. Actually, let's go straight to the map and see where we're... Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. We don't go in there. Still thinking that I'm in hack games right here. So here we go. The town map. You know, we could go back to the ma Master Dojo. Or we could tour just a little bit. But what is this? Do not know what that is. There's two of these places. Okay, so... It looks like to me we're going to be doing a lot in this adventure, guys. So let's go ahead and fly back to the very entrance. And here we are back in the Fields of Honor. So 
this was a small tour of what you can actually find in the Isle of Armor. In the next episode, we will be going into the dojo, and we're going to start this whole adventure right here. Again, remember, this is Pokemon Shield, so we are going to be doing the Isle of Armor in the other version, which is Pokemon Sword. Or No, this is Pokemon Sword. We're going to be doing it in Pokemon Shield. Man, I always get those things mixed up. And we're going to be seeing some differences. I'm going to be doing different stuff. That way you guys can actually see what you can encounter, what you can do right here. So thank you guys again for being patient. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. The Crown Tundra series, or the Isle of Armor series. See you guys.